Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole, and today I'm going to be doing a rainbow eye look. I'm going to be using these two palettes, the James Charles and the Be Bella B35D. But first, before we get into the video, I would appreciate it if you guys pause this video and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like the video at the end. Without further ado, let's get started! Okay guys, so I've already done my foundation and my eyebrows. I'm going to be priming my eyelids with my Cara Beauty Primer. Oops. Upside down? <laughs> no, it's good. And I'm going to be putting this all over both my eyelids. I use this primer every day. Um, the only other eye primer that I use is the MAC Paint Pot one. Those are, like, these are my two favorite primers. I love this primer because it's like kind of sweat proof. I go to the gym with like a full face of makeup on, which I know I probably shouldn't, but I still do it. And uh, it really like helps the, um, the eyeshadow not to budge when you sweat. And I don't know, it's just a good primer. Okay. So next, I'm going to be applying the different colors. I'm going to start off with my Be Bella palette and kind of use this as a base for the James Charles eyeshadows too. So I'm going to be using one of my Makeup Shack brushes. And sorry if I'm not looking directly into the camera. I'm still kind of getting used to like looking into it and talking into it. I'm going to be using my Makeup Shack T33 brush and I love the Makeup Shack brushes. I use them every day. They're honestly like really great. I would definitely recommend getting Makeup Shack brushes. So I'm going to be doing like the rainbow so I'm going to start off with red on the like inner part of my eye and then I'll work my way out. So I'm just taking the red eyeshadow, sorry, <laughs> I'm just taking this red eyeshadow. So I'm just packing it on, packing on the red with my Makeup Shack brush. I'm actually going to be taking, I know I look crazy right now. I'm going to be taking one of my other Makeup Shack brushes. It's a smaller one. It's better for, I think, doing like these types of looks if you're going to be doing multiple colors. And so I'm going to be taking my Makeup Shack T63 brush. That's what it looks like. And I'm going to be going back in with the red again. Just because I'm going to be doing multiple colors and I need to fit them all on my eye. And I'm doing like little circular motions. That way it kind of is blended out, but this is what it looks like so far. I look crazy, but just wait up. It'll be good. <laughs> Have faith. I'm going to be going in to the orange. Ah! <laughs> right there, this orange one. And sorry, my nails aren't done. I do play softball, so I need to have shorter nails. Okay. So you're going to look a little crazy right now. Just, uh, like I said, have faith. <laughs> It'll turn out good. I, tr I promise. And I know these probably look a little dark, but the James Charles palette will like kind of really lighten it up. This is like one of my tricks that I do. Like I'll add a eyeshadow base before the James Charles palette and it just looks like amazing. The pigment is just like beautiful. We're going to use the same brush that we've been using and we're going into the yellow eyeshadow and just applying it. We're just packing these on, like I said, as a base for the James Charles palette eyeshadows so don't lose faith okay so next I'm going to be going in with um, the James Charles ones 
So I'm going to be going into the red shade and uh, yeah, I'm just packing it onto the eyeshadow I did before. And now I'm starting to do circular motions to blend it out. Now I'm going to be going back in with my Makeup Shack T33 brush and just blending up higher. And I'm not applying too much pressure because I want to look a little more airbrushed and not as harsh. And I'm doing the same onto the other eye. I think it's important to do circular motions and not to apply a lot of pressure because it really makes a difference in your eye look. Okay, I'm just adding more red again. Okay, next I'm going to be taking my, and I'm going to be touching up like the red and stuff. I'm going to be taking my orange eyeshadow right there, and I'm going to be going over the orange I did. And now I'm just kind of brushing up a little. I love using the oranges and the red colors. Okay, now I'm going to be taking the yellow eyeshadow from the James Charles palette and applying it over the yellow base I did with the B Bella. I'm trying my best to make sure that I'm getting my left eye in when I'm doing this. It's kind of hard for me, I'm sorry. I'll do my best. And then I'm going back in with the orange just to fully blend everything together. Oops, I'm going to go in with the red one more time. Okay, perfect. So now I'm going to be taking my T63 Makeup Shack brush and I'm going to be applying the green eyeshadow from my B Bella palette. Or you know what, actually, scratch that. I'm just going to use the green from my um, James Charles palette and I'm going to be applying it onto my eye. So here we go. Let's do this. I'm using the lime green one. Not the darker green. It's going to be harder to get the um, blue and purple on, but I'll be able to get it all in there. I'm just going to have to do it a little smaller. Or I won't have as much space, but it'll all work out. I'm going to be going back in with my Makeup Shack T33 brush and I'm going to take the lime green shade from the James Charles palette and kind of blend up a little bit. So I'm blending the yellow and the green together. So now I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be taking the blue eyeshadow from the James Charles palette and applying it with my T63, T63 brush again, and it is the teal blue color. And it 
it's kind of going to be going into the green a little more. So I'm going to be going back with my T33 brush from the Makeup Shack and once again with the same eyeshadow and packing it onto my eye. Now I'm going to be going in with the purple, or you know what, I think I'm going to go with the purple on the bottom, because I think this looks really nice the way it is. I'm going to just be taking the blue eyeshadow again. Okay, so now that I'm finished with my blue eyeshadow and all the colors on top, I'm going to be starting to do my half cut crease because I'm not quite sure if I want to do purple on the bottom yet. I'm just kind of unsure about it. So I'm going to be taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Light Ivory, and right, yeah, it's Light Ivory, <laughs> and I'm going to be taking my Makeup Shack Flat Brush in T79, I believe? Yeah, in T79, and I'm going to be cutting my crease. So, I love doing half cut creases, I think they're super pretty, it's just like one of my go-to's whenever I'm doing a look. Okay, so now I'm going to be, oh no, I got a little up top, I'll fix it, I got a little bit up there, I'm going to be taking my yellow from the James Charles palette and just slightly, or lightly, there we go, it's fixed, I can get it towards the end too. So I'm going to be taking my little tiny flat brush from the Makeup Shack and I'm going to be packing on one of the shimmery shades from his palette, from the James Charles palette, and this is my T66 brush. And I love this for little details. And I'm going to be taking the shimmery shade right there and starting it on the part, on my inner corner part. Or just like my inner eyelid actually. I love this brush because it gets really close to the line, like it's very precise. Okay, I'm going to be doing the same on the other eye now. So since I'm going to be adding color, or I'm going to be kind of blending the color in with that, oops, wrong brush, <laughs> let me find it, one sec, okay, I'm still going to be using my small brush from the Makeup Shack, the T63 one, and I'm going to be taking the blue shade again from the James Charles palette and kind of blending it into the eyeshadow. I'm doing the same onto the other eye. Oops. Now I'm going to be taking that lime green shade. I think it's avocado, I believe. Then I'm going to take that blue shade again and just to fully blend those two colors together.
I'm going to be going back with my T33 brush from the Makeup Shack, or T66, sorry. And I'm going to be going a little farther with the pearly shade. Okay, now I'm going to be taking my, the, where is it, <laughs> right there, this, this um, eyeshadow, oh wow, I look scary right there, sorry, and I'm going to be going on the outer part, and kind of blending it into the pearl, um, the pearly eyeshadow, um, the pearly, <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, I'm just going to be blending those two shimmer eyeshadows together. I will get better at doing makeup tutorials, um, so just bear with me, you guys. And then I'm going to be going back with my T33 now. This is the T33 brush. And taking my light green eyeshadow from the James Charles palette and blending a little bit farther into that shimmer eyeshadow. And I'm patting it when I get towards the end, just so it can blend into the eyeshadow really nicely. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. And then <laughs> I'm going to be... I think I'm not going to do eyeshadow on the bottom. I'm not really feeling it. I don't know. Am I? Mm, I guess I will. Um, so, where is it? I'm going to be using my e.l.f. brush. And I don't... It's the smudge brush. I've had this brush for the longest time. It looks... It's... Don't like... <laughs> it's not the cutest. It's... There we go. <laughs> this brush and I, we go way back, like all the way to like 8th grade, I think. <laughs> Anyways, without, I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to be going in, I'm trying not to show my nails, <laughs> I'm going to be going in with this pink eyeshadow and this purple one, and I'm going, oh you know, maybe the pink too, you know, I don't know, <laughs> I'm just kind of having fun with this look. I'm going to start with the very, um, the lightest pink eyeshadow and applying it right there. <laughs> now, I've done a similar look to this on my Instagram. Um, well, it's posted on my Instagram if you guys would like to check it out. Um, I did do, like, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. I fit that all onto my eyelid. But um, today we're just mixing it up a little bit. And so now I'm going to be using the hot pink eyeshadow. Whoop, there we go. Shaking my brush off and then applying it like so. <laughs> know what I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the pink go into the purple will blend into the purple and I'm taking that light pink eyeshadow again and just kind of blending it out that way the line isn't as harsh under my eyes okay now I'm going to be going in with the light purple oops, excuse me the light purple shade from the palette and blending it out And let me know at the bottom what kind of videos you guys want to see, um, 
like what kind of tutorials and all that fun stuff. Cause I like I said I'll be doing a lot video a lot more videos in the future. I'm using the purple again and kind of going a little bit lower. And as I'm going lower, I'm not applying a much I'm not applying um, a lot of pressure. That way it can look more blended. I'm gonna be doing a video soon with my sister my older sister to be exact and we're gonna just do like a get ready with me video with my sister well the tag would be get ready with me and my sister <laughs> yeah and I think that'll be really fun that way you guys can meet her and all that and so now I'm going to be doing my waterline I think I'm gonna or you know what? yeah I'm going to use my Denisa Mirix, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, they're color fix in Phoenix. Right there. Boom. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to be applying it with my T66 brush. Yes, T63 brush. And. Oh no. Okay. And I'm going to be taking my pinky and applying lightly. Don't, I'm not going to be pressing hard because I don't want my makeup to get ruined. Okay. One eye down. One more to go. So now I got both eyes done, and I'm going to wait for that to dry a little bit, and then I'm going to be applying my mascara. The mascara that I'm going to be using is from Wonder 2 Cosmetics, and it is the Wonder Extensions Mascara in black. And I highly recommend this mascara because it's honestly really good. I go to the gym, like I said earlier, and uh, I'll be sweating, like literally sweating my butt off. And then this mascara really doesn't budge. Like it doesn't, it literally stays on. So I'm going to be applying this to my upper eyelashes first. And this eye, um, this mascara, it also, oops, I'm trying to show you guys too. This mascara, it also really makes your eyelashes look full and long well super long I'd say it's definitely one of my favorite mascaras if not my favorite okay so now I'm finished with that. So the lashes that I'm going to be using today are from Flirtatious Looks, and that's what they look like. There we go. I've already used these before. They're um, the they're the do the most lashes, or just do the most. And I have two other lashes from them that I got that got sent to me. And this one is Flirtatious Looks. That's the name of it. And I love the packaging. Like, it's really super beautiful. Like, look at those sparkles. That's honestly super pretty. Like, oh, beautiful. And then they also sent me the Jealous Whispers lashes. And here's what they look like. I love them so much. Like, the packaging is so beautiful. Like, oh. What's going on with my hair? We'll just take that piece out. I have it clipped back. But, <laughs> yeah, so they sent me those three lashes, and they also sent me a lash applicator. And that's what it is. That's what it's in. And I'll show you guys. 
really pretty. They also gave me a code for you guys to use if you guys would like to get a free lash applicator with your guys' orders from Flirtatious Looks and Lashes. Just use the code CAKEFACENICOLE and you get a free lash applicator with your order. So I'm going to be using my duo glue and there we go. I really want to get the Makeup Shack um, glue because they just came out with one and I'm really interested to see how it works and it's probably really great. Probably really great. <laughs> and so I'm just applying the glue to my eyelashes with the end of my makeup brush like I do this all the time and I'm gonna wait till it's um, till the glue is tacky before applying my eyelashes um, so I'm just you know just waiting for them to get tacky and truthfully I have never used a lash applicator so we'll see how this goes <laughs> I heard it's a lot easier I mean I'd imagine it'd be a lot easier using one okay <laughs> if I do it wrong, don't judge me. <laughs> oh, I got a text. I got like, dude, my phone is blowing up. <laughs> it like averages to like five texts a day. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, you guys ready? Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna, <laughs> and we're done. This is the look. <laughs> yeah, I just like using my fingers when I'm applying my lashes too, just to fully like stick them on. But I'm going to be using an applicator, or I'm gonna practice using it, because I do like it. And it's really pretty. It's, um, it's rose gold, like what? <laughs> okay, we're gonna use it again going to be doing my left eyelash. Let's do this. Let's get this puppy on, right? <laughs> there we go. We're almost finished. <laughs> okay. And I just realized I didn't put eyeshadow on my inner corner, so I'm going to be doing that now. And so... I'm going to be taking, where is it, where is this bad boy at? <laughs> I'm going to be taking my, the brush is a little bit janky looking, I'm sorry. I needed to clean it, I didn't clean it, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to be taking my Makeup Shack, my Makeup Shack T65 brush. <laughs> and I'm going to be doing my inner corner. And I'm going to be going in with that pearl eyeshadow that I went in with earlier. And I'm just applying it to my inner corner. And I am in love with this look. So I'm also going to be trying to do videos weekly. Um, so you guys definitely should subscribe to my channel. Because, I mean, it's going to get interesting. Not that it already isn't interesting. But yeah, I highly suggest you subscribe. And also, please don't forget to like this video. And also, let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see. Because I'd love to really... I'd love to do videos that you guys are really interested in. I'm going to go a little higher up. There. Okay, <laughs> now we're doing a final touch kind of thing. Okay, so now we're going to be using the Pearl Dust Powder from, well, it's the Pure Pigment in Pearl Dust from Wonder 2 Cosmetics and applying it onto my inner corner. And I think this is going to look so Okay, pretty. guys, so I'm back and my camera died, so I had to recharge it. And I'm going to be moving on to my mascara. So I'm going to be using my Wonder 2 Cosmetics um, mascara. And it's the Wonder Extensions, and it's in black. And I'm going to be applying it to my bottom lashes. Okay, so I'm done with the bottom mascara. Now I'm going to be, move I'm going to be moving on to my lips. 
I'm going to be first off moisturizing my lips with this is just a chapstick from Ulta and I'm gonna do that real quick and I'm going to be using my MAC lip liner nope. I'm going to be using Spice <laughs> there we go and I'm just going to be outlining my lips <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to be taking my Anastasia um, liquid lipstick. Don't look at my nails. Oh. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> and it's a nude, I believe. So I'm just putting it like that. But yeah, this is the finished look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Almost forgot. Here is what I'm going to be setting with. It's the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the look. Let me just take out my hair. My hair, honestly, I think looked cuter half up, half down. So I'm just going to leave that here. <laughs> But here, this is the finished look. Okay, so don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm going to be coming out with more videos. Um, so, oh, you can also follow my Instagram if you didn't follow it or like if you didn't see it in the beginning. But yeah, please like and subscribe. Bye.